Hey love, so today we're gonna do a DIY. All of the stuff in this video is actually from the Dollar Tree, so super cheap. So this is for an Easter centerpiece. If you guys wanna make something cute for Easter, then of course you can do that really cheap and inexpensive at the Dollar Tree. So as you can see here, I have some sequins eggs and actually these little vases in the back with all kind of items from the Dollar Tree that I have picked up over the past couple of weeks and they're still available so make sure you get out there and get you some and of course make sure you check out my Dollar Tree DIY um, videos. So the first things first I'm going to be using these plaster Easter eggs. Um, there's about 36 in a bag and I chose this color here which is pink along with that I have a garland Easter bunny which is also, like I said, available to Dollar Tree. And this is something you can hang. And I also did pick up some ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I have two colors right here, a gold one and a pink and gold one, a round styrofoam, and one of their cute glass vases that you can do many things with. Also, I do have some faux grass and these cute Easter eggs that are gold, rose gold or rose pink on a stick. Along with that, I do have another bag which are much smaller in size and these cute little butterflies as well. So the first things first, you do make sure you do have a glue gun, I didn't mention that. But I'm gonna take the styrofoam and I'm going to trace the glass on it just to make sure that the styrofoam is kinda of like the same size. When cutting it, you wanna cut it a little bit smaller than the actual tracing of the um, styrofoam because it will be a little bit big. So just cut it a little bit smaller than what you've actually printed out. Then you want to go ahead and take your grass this is the floral moss there is reindeer moss and floral moss this one is the floral moss that I got from the Dollar Tree but either one will do fine the floral moss is a little bit more darker and green color once you place that into your glass jar you want to take those eggs I have the gold rose gold ones and I also have the pink ones and I'm just going to place those on top of one another and you can just smash it down all you need is two bags and that's it because you want it to make it full and I'm going to take these styrofoam rose gold eggs on a stick they're just on a stick um, and you want to place those into your glass vase and just make sure that it pierces through the styrofoam that you have on the bottom just simple make sure to kind of like center like I have them here now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to camouflage that styrofoam at the bottom with some of this gold rope. I thought a gold ribbon. I thought the gold looked really good because the eggs are like a full um, gold, rose gold kind of like print. As you can see, the eggs are like gold and they have like a um, pinkish tint in them. And I'm just going to take some of my glue stick. You can get glue sticks from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to just cut some of that ribbon off and place it. You don't need a lot of glue when doing the ribbon. Just a little bit is all you need. And I'm gonna do a second layer as well. And I'm just going to make that gold ribbon a little bit wider. So I'm gonna take a second layer and layer and go on the top. And just the same process, you wanna go ahead and take your glue stick and just go a little bit at a time and cut it off right to the edge and make sure that you place some glue right there. And to cover that, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the pink ribbon now because we don't want to see the separation between the ribbons, plus the pink is gonna make it look cute. So you just wanna take a little bit of your glue, your hot glue gun, and just a couple of dots. And this ribbon is so cute, it has pink, um, it's a pink background with gold eggs, which is really cute. Now for the top portion, we're gonna also go ahead with our glue gun, and we're gonna take some of that gold ribbon once again, but we're only gonna do one layer. And same process, you just wanna make sure you cut it really close and go ahead and glue that down. So now on to the garland bunny, you wanna go ahead and remove that string. And I'm going to take some of my hot glue gun and I'm going to place some glue on each one of the eggs and you wanna do that on the inner center of them. You wanna take your garland bunny and just go ahead and place his feet right onto the hot glue. And it dries really quick, as you can see the little white one right there, the little white bunny, they dry really, really quick. 
and so that helps the bunny just stick onto the eggs and I'm going to take those smaller styrofoam eggs that are also from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to place those on the side and you want to make sure that they're kind of like even to the body and just really simple and place some more of your floral moss faux grass right on the top just to kind of like make it look a little bit more finished and camouflage. Now to give the bunny a little accessory, we're going to take this bumblebee and you want to go ahead and cut the metal portion off and take your hot glue gun and just put a little bit of glue on the back of that bumblebee and place it on the Easter Bunny side. Now the white Easter Bunny has a butterfly and you can also get those from the Dollar Tree but I wanted to give this one a different look so one has a butterfly and one has a bumblebee. Super cute. Now the next project right here, I just freestyled this one. I was only going to do two, but I had stuff left over, so I was like, oh, I'm going to use this. So I went ahead, because I only had a little bit left of the styrofoam, which was the edges, I went ahead and broke it in half and used what I had just to make it kind of like fit in the bottom. And that's why you see me right here breaking it in pieces, because listen, we're going to use everything, okay? Everything. Same concept, I'm going to go ahead and take that floral moss and place that in the bottom of the vase. And I did get these Easter eggs and they all have little strings because you can hang them. So I'm going to take the strings apart and place them right into the bottle or the vase as well. And those are also from the Dollar Tree. Everything that you see me using is from the Dollar Tree. And now as you see right here, I have some more Easter eggs. And they also have some uh, metal sticks, so I'm going to remove those. And I'm going to keep the ribbons on them, but I'm just going to remove the metal sticks. And I'm going to just place those in the jar. And kind of like put a little bit of the hot glue gun on, or hot glue onto them, just so that way the grass will kind of like mold and stick onto the, um, the surface. And I couldn't decide what to do because I bought these cute eggs and I wanted to do something with them. So I said, you know what? I'm going to find something. So I took one of those sticks from the Easter eggs that I removed and I placed it into the huge egg. And then I went ahead and took some of my floral decorations from the Dollar Tree, which I also did get. And I kind of like separated them from the bushel. That's just one bushel. And I'm just going to take those and place them all the way around the egg, kind of like giving it like it was sitting in like a little basket this like I said I freestyle this I didn't even know I was gonna do this but of course um, yeah it's just super easy like I said everything is from the Dollar Tree and I will be doing the rest kind of like off camera because all I'm gonna do is put some of the gold onto the vase as well you know like the gold ribbon I'm going to decorate it with the gold ribbon as you see right here Now it's all done. So as you see, the blue one, the Easter egg one, I did take some of my other um, decorations, which were the butterflies. And the butterflies do come with metal sticks. So being that the egg is styrofoam, you can just stick it in the egg. And I did take some of those little extra eggs that I had left over. Um, and I removed the ropes or the ribbons from them and just stuck them right onto the big egg. Now for the grand finale, these are glass votive candle holders, which are also available with the Dollar Tree and they do come two in a pack so I did have two packs and for the last three eggs that I have remaining I'm going to go ahead and remove the strings and I'm going to place some glue hot glue onto each one of them and place them into the glass votive candle holders so that way it can be part of my Easter egg or Easter centerpiece or table centerpiece so as you can see it came out really cute even though I freestyled it and I really did enjoy this project I hope you guys enjoyed it just as well and like I said everything is from the Dollar Tree so as always stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and happy Easter she wanna buy man to come and be the only If you are murder me, eh, eh, eh